What's up? The world's a better place because you are here to join us. And my name is Matt Brown. And I, my name is Matt Brown. And I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. It is Friday, a feel-good Friday, a football Friday, September 6, 2024. Four. We're bringing the boom and we have a great show for you. The first week of September is behind us and let's have a productive conversation on what was trending from this past week. Ryan, Allison and Ra and um sorry. Ryan, Allison and Jose are with me. Hello everybody. We're going to get hit with the uh, gimmick infringement on that boom thing. We got to be careful. <laughs> no, they will <laughs> they will support us. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Good. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's gonna to say hi? <laughs> Good stuff. Excellent for uh, an audio, audio made uh, majority uh, format here. But uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they felt sure this time. All right, so we are going to talk about with this full what happened this week all over the place and there is lots of good stuff and don't forget to check out all our content from this past week regarding football as well and yes we started this week but just so you know now the new format we have a show on monday tuesday thursday and friday for now until february with some other shows thrown in between so monday tuesday thursday and friday we thank you to our presenting sponsor magic mind for always always having our back and don't forget to get your shot of magic mind at 48 percent off your first description or 20 percent off your first time purchase by going to magicmind.com slash pcmb and use the discount code pcmb20 that is magicmind.com slash pcmb and use discount code pcmb20 for 48 percent off your first subscription or 20 percent off your first one-time purchase so the NFL officially kicked off yesterday, and the game is taking place at this moment. But we are going to kick off our show by talking about the world's favorite couple, or maybe ex-couple, I don't know. So first, so we have KFC Bar School to explain the controversy that is regarding Taylor and Travis's potential breakup. Maybe, maybe not. We will see what KFC has to say about this. Here we go. An alleged document from Full Scope Public Relations, the company that represents Travis Kelsey, went viral on Reddit saying that this is the comprehensive media plan for Travis Kelsey following his breakup with Taylor Swift. Now, these bullet points say things like emphasize that it was a mutual parting of ways and that they're focusing on their privacy right now. Now, the second page here lists all the outlets that they're going to be doing media. They say that Travis is going to be doing mock interviews to get prepared and that he still respects Taylor and he's excited for the football season. But this part right here is what has the internet buzzing because it says that the announcement date and the official release of this document is supposed to be September 28th, 2024, as if Taylor and Travis have already planned their breakup. So now the internet is obviously on fire. The people who thought that this was a fake relationship from the beginning think that they have their smoking gun saying that this was a perfect one year sham relationship for PR purposes. Personally, I think this document's real. I don't think their breaking up is real. I think that this document exists because I think a PR company probably comes up with a million press releases for if you break up, if you get married, if she gets pregnant, or anything that might possibly happen. I cannot explain why it has a release date as if you're dropping your breakup like it's a goddamn album. That one, I don't know. Now, Travis Kelsey came out immediately and said this is fake and full scope PR said they're trying to hunt down the person. It's almost like there's too much of a reaction. If this is fake and it's me, I'm throwing a party on September 28th and being like, it's our breakup party. Have fun with the whole thing. You can have fun with Travis Kelsey this year. <clears throat> All right. So September 28th is two weeks from Saturday. Me and Jose will be watching Post Malone that day, fun fact. But also, could this be the day that Travis and Taylor will announce their breakup? KFC doesn't think this is real. But what is going on? I think we should start with our Swifty, oh Allison. It's not a breakup. She's at the game tonight. They're not breaking up. End of story. They're end game. I'm I'm convinced. End game. End I mean, game. Like one of her songs. Like and one of her songs. Intentional, but yes, mm -hmm. you can just tell. Hi, right, Jose. What about you? I don't think it's true, but and I also don't think 
they're going to last, but I don't think it's going to be on the 28th. Jose, do you ever think anyone's going to last? <laughs> I just don't think it's going to last. This is very so, specific. Very, yeah, very so, specific, too. So my thing is, uh, two things. for the, Obviously, the, this story, even without KFC, went super viral. But um, <clears throat> KFC makes a really good point that a public relations company would obviously have this plan. Like, if <laughs> no, seriously, if you work, if Travis Kelsey is your client, and hires you to handle all of their public relations mm -hmm. and you don't have this plan written down somewhere to implement the day after a breakup, then you're not particularly good at public relations as a, as a specialty. You, you would need to have this planned out, you know, how you would go about it, how you would mm -hmm. you know not distract from football. So other than the date and you know, KFC is right. The fact that there's a date in there is a little bit odd. Um, that it could very easily be real. I think the date being in there has me thinking that maybe it's not as not so real, uh, right? Or maybe it's like a mock document, like they're they're still working on it, and that's just a draft version that was on someone's desk to read through, um, and they just put in like any old date as like a placeholder. I guess that's possible. Uh, but the other thing that he said is that the reaction to him is like almost like too much of a reaction, like. And in my mind, I'm seeing it the other way because they've come out and been like, that's not true. This is not real. We so will hunt down so this forth. person. Right. Which feels dramatic. But if they wanted, you know, I mean, this is technically, you know, libelous, right? Someone put something fake in writing and yep. it went all over the Internet. So if you're going to go after somebody for libel, right, and then you break up on September 28th, it's not libel. They were telling the truth. <laughs> uh, so mm -hmm. you you have no recourse if you do that. And not for nothing, but most cases are not decided on the first day that they go in. So frankly, if they're breaking up anytime soon, even if they were the 28th, they're like, well, we'll push it a month. That's still going to hurt their case if they actually do try and go after the person who leaked this. So the fact that they're saying they're going after somebody means to me that they're certainly not anticipating a breakup anytime soon. Uh, doesn't mean that they don't have a planned breakup. Doesn't mean that it wasn't all fake from the beginning. I don't believe it was all fake. I think it is real, and I think it's currently real. But um, if they do have a planned breakup date, it's not this NFL season. Um, and honestly, just from a business standpoint, why would it be this NFL season? The NFL would be pissed if, if it was the, the NFL, NFL would season. Be pissed. Yeah, they um, want it. They want this to last through the NFL season for sure. They want to get them ratings. married during the Super Bowl halftime. Oh I mean, God. yeah, Goodell would absolutely want that, but I just don't know that's going to happen. That is but the shit. No. So maybe we can, you know, there's a world where after this year's uh, playoffs, yeah, maybe they are maybe they call it quits, but I don't think we should be expecting anything in uh, September, certainly. Man, why do so many people not like this relationship? The big question. I mean, we know why, <laughs> but we've talked about it ad nauseum on yes. the show, and it has oh, to do with... Man the programming but have we seen anything they were relatively quiet this uh, this summer right just yeah, in rhode pictures. island together at her oh, but, house I mean, but yeah oh. they were she still relatively quiet i mean i'm just saying like, there was no there was no he was news at her worthy. concerts he was yeah there was, yeah. There was nothing newsworthy matt to nothing answer your crazy question. no just regular stuff like they've been doing hey but Listen, at the end of the day, yeah, you do have to plan out these things in advance. The date's weird. I don't know. Maybe they're trolling. Who really cares? Just let them rock all of that stuff. Even if, um, you know, I was all with Taylor and I was all with Taylor and what's her face? Tra Taylor and Travis all last year. I am ready to take a little break from it. And, um, well, let's just focus on I, the football. I will say. Just before we move on, uh, looking at the schedule, the Chiefs are in Los Angeles um, the Sunday after their supposed breakup. Taylor, as we know, I believe, has some residence in Los Angeles. Uh, it's not out of their own possibility that she would be there. She's been to SoFi before uh, for games and, of course, for her concert. So it could be a second push to get people interested in their uh, – and they're in that game in their relationship by wondering, oh, is she going to be there? Is she going to be there? Or did they break up quietly? So could be a ploy. 
I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? I am going just to let this roll. And um, if this keep if this keeps happening during the season, we did plenty of Travis and Taylor last year. Yeah, just watch that. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we'll just let that rock as this uh, first game goes. And the um, nice pick by me, so good. Derek Henry, first tu first touchdown at plus five fifty. I should have bet everything on that, but that's for another day. Uh, anyways, good stuff, Travis and Taylor. Good luck. And um, we will see what happens on the 28th. I sound too excited, Matt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, so Ryan, our friend, talked to a girl. I mean, or I should refer to her as her name, Haley Welch. Mm -hmm. You said that she will last until September. It is now the 6th of September. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, here it is. It was announced that she will be dropping a podcast. She is joining our realm, so far beating us in viewership. So clearly one of us has to make the sacrifice to do something very grotesque. Um, I'm not that desperate yet. So if any of you three want to do it, I encourage it. But let's look at this ad that got 46 million views on her big announcement. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> I'm Haley Welch. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. And along the way, I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. Check out my podcast every week, Talk To Them, where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. Talk To Them. And you know who's responsible for giving her this platform? Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. And I don't I didn't pull up the tweet. I don't think I need to pull it up, but a tweet that had <laughs> that had like I think I think it had about 20 million views where somebody said, There are wars going on, and this is what I see. These two <laughs> making content. Um, um I would like to point out, Matt, just just to point out, um, that's just an ad. That's not a not a podcast. So I'm gonna wait for the Fair first episode enough. to drop before I declare myself wrong. Uh, that's number one. But number two is uh, we have offline talked about the uh, God. What is the name of the show? It doesn't really matter because it was only around for like four episodes. Uh, where California Governor Gavin Newsom and former Seahawks and uh, Seahawks running back. Marshawn Lynch had a podcast together. Uh, that lasted four whole episodes. So, <laughs> no offense, but four whole episodes. We will see if Talk Tua gets a full, you know, a full slate and what that looks like. Uh, I'm still not convinced that this is going to be a long term celebrity thing, but it does seem that September was a little premature. She's got a little more left in the tank. Who is she going to talk to? Well, That's what you... I was... Is she going to talk to it? <laughs> well, first of all, that is a great name, but I sent oh, you yeah, guys a chat that LA Knight has volunteered to join with the Let Me Talk to You meme. Let me Those talk to her. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. You know what? One thing I did get out of this, man, mm -hmm. people really don't like her. I mean, that goes without saying. I guess that could have been brought up the first time, but I never thought it was that relevant. But a lot of people were angry at this. Like, yeah, a lot I mean, of hate. Like, people, yeah, that's people haters, hate though. her guts. Like, I mean, that's damn. just haters, though. Like, Which, in fairness, I don't, like, obviously, I didn't think that she'd be famous this long. But, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, the people who are mad that she's still famous are, are the reason they're why. They're also they're the reason why she's still famous. That, too. Yeah, it's a cycle. But there's no, she has done, as far as I know, she's done nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason to hate her. Um, it's it's jealousy, honestly. If we're being totally honest, people who are mad are mad that she's gonna make a ton of money for making an off color joke one time when she was drunk on vacation. Ha! I mean, that's, that that's what happened. Funny. That is yeah, funny. She made an off color joke one time while hammered on vacation, and, and now, now she's, she's set a for life. <laughs> yep. So. I get why people might be jealous, but anyone who actually hates Out her here is, is just jealous. Trying to pay, uh, trying to get a meal with food stamps and and going to 
weird places for yeah, money. That's not... And then she just says a joke. I'm set yeah, for life. That's not she can literally fault. get her bends. <laughs> Look at me. Look at all my money. And you struggling. <laughs> you can't even afford a McDonald's yeah, no, meal just, deal. No, so but I disagree. This is me. She's, she's not <laughs> laughing at people like that. That's all Matt. That's Matt editorializing for anyone who's just listening. Um, Probably all no. Cammy. She's like, look at all this money. No, I'm going See, to sleep in this money. This is how you get. Hit. This is how you get hit with slander. By the way, there's absolutely no evidence that she's mean to people. Obvious, I'm joking. Obviously. But, I said, I'm just here's saying, allegedly, I, here's the allegedly to get off the hook. Not, not even allegedly. Matt made it up. No one else has said this. It's just you. But uh, no, it is jealousy. It's jealousy that people are having. And I mean, that's fine. I get it. I mean, it's annoying. I won't pretend it's not annoying <laughs> that she's famous for this to the extent that it's, you know, set her up for life. But um, that's how it goes. That Them's the breaks. That's how it goes, the way it goes, as Lil Uzi Vert once said. That's right. But talking about money and people trying to figure out ways to get rich quick, there was a vending, there was a trending viral fad going on known as the Chase Glitch. And let me show you what that exactly is. Yesterday, reports emerged about a supposed glitch with Chase ATMs, where people were able to withdraw large amounts of cash. As this went viral, many were curious about how this so-called glitch worked, but there wasn't a clear explanation. I'm trying to understand how to protect myself, but no one is explaining part of it, like getting like tens of thousands of dollars. I don't understand how they're doing that. In reality, this process isn't a glitch at all. It involves someone depositing a fake or invalid check into an ATM. The bank temporarily makes some of the funds available, and the person quickly withdraws the money before the check is fully cleared. When the bank later realizes the check is bad and it bounces, Ounces, the account is left with a negative balance. This is what's known as check fraud. I knew it. I, knew it. I told you. I told you. What the f***? Bro, I knew it. Bro. Yesterday, reports emerged about a supposed glitch with Chase ATMs, where people were able to withdraw large amounts of cash. So that's the... Uh... <laughs> As this went viral, many were curious that's about how this so-called glitch around. worked. That was, uh, that's how the glitch is working. I, a, AKA, not a glitch. It's just check fraud. Uh, and people are <laughs> suffering from it. And we're seeing people with bank accounts like negative $30,000 and you're screwed. And there's video proof of you breaking the law. And <laughs> fuck. Seriously, <laughs> the, how do you exactly get out of that now? You can't. You can't. Don't. You can't. Don't. You're screwed. <laughs> it's funny how, listen, is it fair to say mostly, you know, TikTok is really defined, Gen Z really defines themselves as TikTok, like you could call them, quote unquote, the TikTok generation? Yeah, I think that's so. Fair, that's fair to say? So I think so. It's amazing seeing how many Gen Zs literally committing crimes and doing these silly things for content. Whether maybe you're faking it like the guy we showed last week with McDonald's driving his car into a thing, but you, or you actually do do it. And now, um, this is silly. You know, Chase, I, Chase it happens to be my car, car loan provider. That would have been convenient if I could have fraud that, but nope, I will still hmm. be paying them for a couple more years to pay off that car. Did either, uh, I mean, I know I saw this, but did either of you see, any of you see this like online? When no. it was still a glitch, like before the the fallout, I didn't even know about it, so just no. Okay, so I actually saw it like when it first came out, like when people were talking about the chase glitch. And so I and I watched a couple of videos on it. I was like, all right, what's the glitch? I kind of assumed there was like a weird like system error, right? And like that, that there was actual like in my mind, like, oh, there's an actual glitch, something is wrong with their systems today, and people are getting extra money. And then when I saw it, I was like, no, this is not a glitch. They literally, you go to your own account and then you throw in the bad check and then you take that money out. But like, they know who you are because you're using your account. 
They have your name. They have your address. They have all of your banking information. <laughs> there is like, there's no glitch there. It's just, oh, we're going to cash a ten thousand dollar check and then take it out real fast before they catch that the check's not real. Yeah, but they still know who you are. So when they realize the check is not real, they're just going to take the ten thousand dollars back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like, oh, I already have it. Finders keepers. They're just going <laughs> to go to your account minus ten thousand dollars, and then that's the end. And of And that's the exactly what they did. There's a viral clip <laughs> of the guy down thirty one thousand dollars. Plus, a lot of these banks, if you are overdrafting at the moment, they the as the days go by, some of their See? policies will will keep adding to it. Yeah, and you broke the law. Yeah, and you, yeah, and you filmed it. You're Most going to jail. You're it. going to jail. Oh. I mean, maybe not. It depends on how much you stole. But um, well, the thirty-one thousand dollars on that 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 that's no, that's, that's not. Yeah, that's, that's not a that's not a good thing to have happen to you. I would say, um, uh, thirty-one thousand dollars. But um, no, I think that th the end of the day, this this is like a, a warning, maybe like not to the like Gen Z, obviously. You know, to them to everybody, do this. but like, but like, maybe we need to spend a little more time, you know, talking about how banks work uh, <laughs> to people. Uh, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people, like younger people, think that money is just like this weird abstract concept that they just, you know, put it on a card, they, this piece of plastic in their pocket. This is my... how they buy things, and that's not real life. Uh, like, you know what I mean? You can't just make up a check. You, you know what I mean? Like, those are things that I feel like. Maybe yeah. should be talked about a little more in like you know a formal setting, like you know. This school. isn't Grand Theft Auto where you can right pack a bank and you will have ninety nine trillion dollars. Right, exactly. some people actually yeah. think that you could do that. So. Well, right, it's because we don't really ever say how banking works. We just kind of it's like don't worry about it. Just swipe this thing and then pay us when we tell you. And like I think we should maybe talk a little bit about how banks work uh, and how budgets work with people uh, going forward to avoid. Again, something that was very clearly not a glitch. Uh, it was very clearly, you know, one of the oldest fi uh, financial crimes in existence. Like, tr truthfully, they they were doing bank, like, check fraud has existed since checks existed. <laughs> you know what I mean? The first check was followed immediately by the first fake check. <laughs> so, and there like... you go. <laughs> this is what you people did for content. How do you feel now? I don't think it was for content. I think it was for money, Matt. I think At most first, of the people but... did it for money. <laughs> But it's crazy the lines for the Chase ATM. <laughs> yeah, lines. They're getting free money. Oh man, what a world we're living! What a world we live in. Well, got to continue on from there, and uh, remember, earn money the right way. Oh, well, certainly not through check fraud. <laughs> At least not through check fraud. <laughs> However, you get your money. That's 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 a that's between you and yourself. But um. You know, don't get in trouble in this world because of financial. That's how I got Al Capone. <laughs> yes. But you want to talk about things that are insane? All right. So dating, we have my one of my favorite things, the NFL, and one of my other favorite things, dating, or at least talking about dating, we should say, coming together in one of the more bizarre stories, Washington Commanders, right? They're trying to get rid of all the bad juju. They had a bad ownership era, the Dan Snyder. Um, new ownership era goes in, yet the bad vibes continue for some reason. So we have here Washington Commanders Vice President of Content, Raul Etienne, Etienne, uh, forgive me, Raul Etienne, was caught undercover mm -hmm. by... Oki Media labeling commanders black players inherently homophobic, calling NFL fans high school educated alcoholics, and dismissing the league's social justice efforts as performative for profit. ATN also criticized NFL commissioner Roger Goodell as a puppet controlled by owners like Cowboys Jerry Jones, whom ETN also accuses of being biased against black and gay people. Oh, boy, boy, boy. This was on camera, and this allegedly happened during a hinge date where his date actually videotaped him. Now, I couldn't... I have the full 10-minute clip. I don't think that's necessary for now, no, but... um, And I couldn't find anyone chopping it up, but yeah. 
Another reason to get paranoid for dating, right? I love how that's your takeaway. This big story is clearly this is a dating story. <laughs> Jose, what do you think? He's an idiot. He just coughed, he just coughed himself. Probably a good million dollar job. I mean, yeah, yeah, we should say he, he was fired today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he lost the hinge date. So, he well, I don't both. think the hinge date was real, Jose. I think it was probably. Meant that I think the person did this specifically to uh, do this would be my guess. Really, how the fuck are you gonna find him on Hinge? Like, <laughs> like you can be swiping all day, every day, just to find find him. I don't know. I mean, that's how how bad uh, Jose and Allison and Matt actually answered. Allison, I think how you said some, you I think you said stuff, but you were muted. Can you repeat what you said? Oh, I was just saying, unless like they had him tailed and they're in the same area and the same age, like. Maybe I was gonna say, how bad does a date have to be for the three of you, a hinge date or Tinder date, whatever, for you to decide that you need to film it? <laughs> and then, Actually, and then leak it to I the press. Want... Oh. Okay, we got to hear that. I I have to find the recording, but <laughs> at, I had a guy. It was really really bad, but he started. So he wasn't supposed to drink because he was involved in a hit and run accident, oh. and his doctor mm -hmm. told him like hey, you have a brain bleed, so you can't drink too much or you'll go into, like, epileptic shock. So t tell me why this guy picks a champagne bar to go to. Mind you, I'm sober. Like, whatever. Fine. They had food. It's all good. Um, He starts drinking. He's almost a bottle of champagne in. That's bad. And his face starts turning purple, and he starts going on a tangent about racism and how all pit bulls should be euthanized because they were they were bred to kill and a bunch of just crazy nonsense. I like literally thought he was gonna go into epileptic shock. Like I thought he was his head was gonna explode or he was gonna have a seizure. Like it was super insane. So I had my phone, I turned it and like had it recording like face down and then it like recorded the conversation. It was yeah. Just the one thing here, too, just to add, is the fact that, you know, um, what was she wearing, a hat or something? That was very, I just wonder how they got the camera. Probably on, like, the shirt, like, a little, which is, again, why I think it's, you know, was planned. Like, the camera, it yeah. wasn't a phone camera, I feel like, like, what I saw bits of the video. Or in the sleeve or something. Like Right, like, it was a hidden camera, so it feels like they went into the date with the intent to film it. Um, and yeah, so, like, I, but I just want, yeah, you also just wonder, did she know about O'Keefe Media to leak it to them? Um, they may have paid her ahead of time, yeah. Did they hire her? Like, uh, I think this guy, his name's Sean O'Keefe, who started this as part of some other plant. Like, they, they, they've been criticized before because this, this, yeah. this is pretty sketchy journalism. You know, like- I mean, it's, it's also barely journalism. To be clear, like, and, and that was and that's like the football side of this. Like, so I won't even say that everything he said is wrong. Some of it was, um, but I don't know that all of it is. Uh, I think there's actually some valid points um, oh. in there. What are you? Why are you shaking your head? No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Just keep going. Just keep going. No, I mean, again, I don't. I don't to, disagree. I don't disagree. I'm not going to elaborate. And I don't. And no, again. no, I don't. I don't. I don't disagree. But I don't condone any of this stuff said either. It's just like, well, yeah, it's just crazy. This is actually a thought. And I have another point with this. But um, no, after. I was going to say. So, like, obviously, saying something about a specific person, that's not what I'm talking about. You should be saying things about a specific person, certainly yeah. not without any evidence. So I'm not talking about like the Jerry Jones or Roger Goodell stuff. I'm not talking about any of that. Uh, but the the criticism of the league using social justice as a marketing tool, I think that's fair um, yeah. to, to, to point that out and wonder aloud, especially when you have people like Colin Kaepernick who are still not on a team after taking an actual stand against, you know, police violence. Um, so I don't I don't think everything he said is totally off base, but he works for them. So he, he can't <laughs> say it. Not anymore. But like you can't you can't do that. Like. You can't stick, you know, go around bad mouthing your employer to people. Um, if you're not comfortable saying it to your employer's face, 
then you shouldn't be saying it to somebody else in private. And I understand that that's a, a big ask, but it is the best way to be. Uh, so I, I don't want to be like, you know, too hard on him, but I do kind of, because why would you say this to a stranger? And this is my other point too, that I wanted to bring up when I really thought about like the dating aspects of this is revealing too much about yourself on a yeah. first date, huge red flag. And that's where Jose's suggestion about your first date should be an activity is great for because you're not going to really get that deep or have these controversial opinions being expressed, at least till after some intimacy, if anything. But so you know, Jose, you still let it grow and stuff. But yeah, don't yeah, do, reveal too much. So, Jose, if this guy got a do over, oh what would you recommend he do for this first date? Oh, many goals. Hmm. What the fuck up? <laughs> no, what like what activity? You're going on a hinge. No, date, he said the... shut the fuck up. That's that's what he was. Well, saying. I mean, yes, obviously, but I'm saying you know instead of dinner, is there is there a better date they could have done? Yeah, go see a movie where you don't talk. There you go. <laughs> I mean, really, is that really a good first date though. Yeah, it always works for me. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to talk to anybody and you don't want to listen to them talk. I think for I think well generally guy if a guy's into dating, your first date is kind of you're kind of having that conversation right like texting when you first meet on Hinge or whatever, you kind of get a grasp of the person you kind of filling each other out, but when you're open to a first date and you're looking for a relationship, you kind of your first idea is to see if that vibe that you have on text messaging is the same vibe you get in real life. Mm -hmm. So movies, bowling, or whatever, movies, you just get that just the way you come off by talking and kind of just see if you guys click after the first date. After that, you can do whatever you want. Kind of like there's something here, there's something, there's something concrete into this. So a movie's not a bad idea. All right, so you said movie or bowling, some or mini golf was what Allison said. That probably applies as well, right? Right. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So for anyone listening, if you've got deep dark secrets from your corporation that yeah. you're trying to keep secret while out there dating, we know it can be hard. Let's, let's keep it to bowling and mini golf. And you, you, you don't admit tell, that. You, <laughs> you could totally, you could, you could totally did that shit just to fucking show off. Yeah, no, I, I, so I, that. and so that's why I was surprised, like, because at first I was like, she must, he must have started. So kind of like Allison's story, he must have started, and she realized what was happening, and then recorded, but it's a pretty clear video, mm -hmm. which makes me think that it was planned from the beginning, but, um, I have a bunch of yeah. filming of dates and stuff, if y'all want to ever listen to that. <laughs> Well, that happens. was like I have like people who have like called me on like the phone, like being crazy. Like I've I've filmed that. Like I'll have my laptop open and I'll be like, okay, record, and then I'll just like literally have myself like filming me, and you'll just see my facial expression, like what the fuck just happened, like, <laughs> and then you hear them fully talking on it. It's so funny. I think we should take. I think guys. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I, I'm so I'm shocked by this, and I don't know if Matt and Jose are like in I a did, bad way, and not in a bad way per se. Okay, but the fact that anyone has ever actually filmed this, like that's I, you've not been paid by O'Keefe Media, I assume. No. Um, so the <laughs> fact that people do just kind of film your conversations because why not? Like, that's interesting for sure. Um, definitely say, keep that in why mind. Why not? <laughs> Uh, definitely keep that. I, I, I do I, think I it's the why. Some this. people definitely have that why not. Like I've had situations where it's come to the point where I'm like, uh, it's time to start no filming. Way, this. There's no <laughs> way people are gonna believe that this happened to me, or there's no uh, way people are gonna just uh, think uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm like, okay, record. Like, <laughs> so oh, I, Lord. Matt, I want to apologize. I said this was not really a dating story. Maybe it is a dating story. That's, Maybe that's this really is something what to I look saw at. The whole because everybody. <laughs> You know, like, you know, execs come and go. I really thought about the dating stuff with this and the filming. It just so happened to be NFL related. Yeah. So we had a different opinion, but I'm actually hearing everyone hearing Jose and Allison talk. 
I'm actually with you. This is a dating story that just happened to have an NFL executive in it. Former one. But I mean, yeah, so sorry. Famously, a former one. Oh, no. But yeah, like, it's just it just it's just part of the game. What can I tell you? And that's when I really believe in uh, you will never say the wrong thing to the right person. So I'm sure they won't film you if they're the right person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just don't be a psycho. Oh, boy. Anyways, oh. talking about psycho behavior... Um, we have college football that also started, right? Florida State is uh, definitely off to the worst start for the expectations they had for all of college football, right? They are now 0-2, um, pretty much killing their hopes for the college football playoff. And that stinks, for if you're a Florida State fan. Mm. And it also stinks for this other Florida State fan as they lost to Georgia Tech last week, uh, two weeks ago, and they lost to Boston College at home on uh, this past week to the point where the fans actually booed them off the field. Um, there was a guy who was very confident that they would beat Boston College, and the opposite happened. And we have Jack Mack from Barstool to explain why this loss was very bad for him specifically. Earlier this week, a Twitter user that goes by 321 Knowles tweeted out, if Florida State loses to Boston College this weekend, I will eat dog doo-doo out of a red Solo cup with a spoon and post a video of me doing it. Book it. Well, as it turns out, Florida State lost to Boston College tonight. And after Florida State went down 14 to nothing against Boston College, 321 Knowles who tweeted this out back on August 27th and doubled down on it multiple times deleted his account. Before the game was even over, 321 <laughs> Noel's account was gone. One of the last things 321 Noel did on Twitter before wiping himself off the internet was send a message in a DM group called the Linda's Hive. I'll catch y'all next season. My time on X is done for now. <laughs> Good luck to everyone. The internet did not take kindly to this man thinking he could just, you know, Keep it moving. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. It was a joke. So being the number one journalisming journalist on the internet, I dug in. And thanks to my sources throughout the internet, specifically down south, I received some valuable information on this man who decided not only to delete his Twitter, but he deleted his Instagram, his Facebook. This man was very serious. He wanted to go zero dark 30. But thanks to my anonymous sources, I was able to contact him on Snapchat. I said, you have to eat the dog doo-doo tonight. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. Do you want to curse your Knowles forever? The 321 Knoll dog doo-doo curse is what people are calling it. I ended up texting him after getting his number. And I said, you have to eat the dog doo-doo. And this is a very serious thing. It has reached national television. Scott Van Pelt, after the game, on the same channel the game was on, said this. And he's not wrong. We will not sleep until... This man eats dog doo-doo. Because if we fall for anything, we don't stand for a thing, or right? <laughs> however that saying goes. So three, two, one, no. Just know, all it takes is one little bite. One bite, everyone knows the rules of the dog doo-doo. And then the curse is gone forever. But until then, the Florida State Knowles will be cursed with the three, two, one dog doo-doo curse forever. Man. People just really, they really, I don't get the hundreds of thousands of times that people say, what you do on the internet is permanent. People still don't get it through their heads that what you say is permanent. He does have to eat the dog doo-doo. And it seems like the well, internet is uh, really going to boo Billy him to make sure he does it. And maybe he'll no. teach you all that what you say online is permanent. And that, right. uh, that's, that's us too. So make sure oh, nobody says oh. anything stupid for the next five decades. So um, hold on, hold, hold, hold. Yeah. I have to stop you. No, he doesn't have to eat the dog he, doo. -doo. He's not said, legally he's required to eat the dog doo. -doo. <laughs> I'm legally required. You are internet required. Too bad. There's no you shouldn't such have thing done as it. Internet required. You shouldn't have There's done no it. Such thing. Three, two, There's one. There's no such no. thing as internet required. Too it was bad. Clearly a joke. Too bad. Too bad. It's a joke. He's got to do it. He Too doesn't. bad. Joke. They're harassing him. No, I'm a on joke. The side a of joke is one, two, three. A joke is um. A joke is something like, guess what? Shay, you're right. That's a joke. <laughs> no, that's not a joke. That's childish. He's got to like do it. Who are Jose and Allison. Jose and Allison. He's got to do it, right? 
Or yeah. Allison. I mean, does he? Yeah. He no. Does. Yes. Yes, he does. It's but over. Like, but like, who As says a... that? He did. Matt. He did. It's Matt. It's Matt's Matt the one who says that. He did. He needs to. We need to hold people accountable. Not for, for what this. They say yes, they do. Hold people accountable for like he literally know, bounced crimes. before so the game ended. Say, like, hold people accountable for like crazy like things. right things that happened that matter. He this did. This is it. not where we should be drawing the accountability line on whether or not this man eats dog doo doo. That's ridiculous. At first, but, hey, what do you think? I think he should eat the dog shit. He Thank doubled you. down it multiple well, okay, times. But should <laughs> yes is different. <laughs> Then he has to. Must. He, he no, must. he doesn't he have got to. Wait, Jose, you think he should? <laughs> yes. He doubled down it multiple times. It's not like if I said, hey, I'm going to do this or, or... No, he only messaged he, it once. No, he didn't know report. He said he doubled down on it. No, yeah. he didn't. He yeah. did not. He said he, he mentioned it once. He down the report. He doubled down on it. He did double down on it. He made another text that this is true. Tweet. Allegedly. So, if he doubled down on it, you got to do it. No, you still don't. You gotta do it. Listen, if Florida State would have won, what he would have done? Talk mad shit. Yes. Well, yeah. guess what? He can start eating shit because he lost. Literally so, and figuratively. I so, cannot believe that you guys think only, he must listen, eat dog. He, it was a joke. Too bad. You're you only good as your word. You yes, shouldn't exactly. have said a joke. You're He's only good as your on word. Once you put the tweet, you must... You must complete. That's no, what listen, you, you write the tweet, you act- must complete. All right. He obviously thought something was going to come out of it because he went MIA. No, yeah, because so he knew I, that people were calling yeah, so out on him. Go on. So let me fit. So that's that's important to this, actually. Let me go. Let me say that because everyone's making it sound like I'm okay with something that I'm not okay with. I've said this to Matt our entire lives. If I say anything or if I write anything, then it's what I believe. 100%. That's me. If I told a joke like that, and then it happened, the first tweet I would have said is, obviously Just I'm kidding. not eating dog doo It was a joke. And yes, everyone would jump on me and be like, blah, blah. you know, they would, they would harass me or whatever, and then I would mute the tweet and I'd move on. He should have done that. The fact that he went MIA is what added fuel to this fire. Now, he's still being harassed by the person in that video and everybody else. And so he's still not wrong. He's still not in the wrong. In, no, in the actual eyes of the actual rules, he's done nothing wrong. Everyone else is harassing him. But internet rules, he should have owned what he said, owned that it was a joke, and then just taken the 24 hours of people hopping onto that tweet saying, Oh, you got to eat it. Oh, you got to eat it. It would have been gone in literally a day. But because he tried to hide, he made it worse. And I will say that. If he hadn't tried to hide, if he just <laughs> owned that I said a joke, I'm obviously not going to do it. Go ahead and cry about it. Then everybody would have been, you know, made a joke for like a day. And then they all would have moved on because it wouldn't have been funny anymore. But now because he's trying to hide, it becomes funny again. So that's some advice for everybody. Say what you mean. Own it if you say something stupid, and it'll go away. You know, it's not that serious. It's just dog duty. He should have. He but, could just um, make a video of him eating chocolate ice cream. And just mm, say that's well, it. I mean, if yeah, if you really wanted to troll people, you could do that. Is <laughs> like, hmm, you know what I mean? And have people be like, ah, he's trolling us. But no, in general, just own that you're not going to do it, and let the let the internet tire itself out. This is only making it worse for him. I I do believe that. They don't play again until the 14th against Memphis. So <laughs> wait till that happens. But yeah, it's, people are going to keep calling this guy out every time Florida State plays. No, no. Oh, they no. Yes, they will. Eventually. No, we'll they won't. Yes, not, they the, not this. Not the stoolie people. Number. It's not hard to get his number. They got They found his fiance. Oh, shoot. <laughs> They're going to eat it, too. I mean, so no, just to be, I, 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 I want to also say this for anyone listening. This can, you know, this is going to keep happening until he does it. No, listen, Mm -hmm. they're all no, you want to know what's going to end up happening, Matt? And you you guys, you don't like to talk about this, but this is true. This is borderline stalking. (laughs) You found his fiance. They don't care. They don't care. They they still don't care. These these weird people. They will go to jail. I don't even, I don't even think, 
You're definitely not wrong. I don't disagree, but the internet always wins. The house always wins, and no, the internet gonna, always wins. They're going to arrest somebody, and that's going to end it right there. That's my point. And then you're going to write so, have some troll say, still got to eat the dog shit. There's, you, well, yeah, but that's, if it. someone tweets every once in a while at your old account saying Trust you got to eat dog shit, they're not going to forget fine. this until he they're, not gonna text, they're not going to text. They're not going to text him once I, the first person. Gets you know the stoolies, bro. You. you know the stoolies, bro. They're not I do, which is go. why I know that it's going to take someone going to jail. But once someone goes to jail, it'll end. Portnoy went to jail, and they could. It only improved his influence to them. Can I, can not, I ask you what? You're not Dave Portnoy. Just remember that if you think I'm Dave Portnoy, you're not Dave Portnoy. No one's Dave Portnoy. You ever thought? You ever thought for that dude the the write that stupid message to think that just the, how many times he probably watch two girls in the cup? <laughs> no, I've never thought about that. that idea. Jose, I'll be honest with you. I'll stop you from whatever it is you're about to finish with this. Sentence. No, I'm I've not never thought it? that. No, never I'm once. saying I that's never the came first thought. Mind. I was like, damn, that guy thought they write right, that really like really straight to the point in a red. And a red cup, like dog shit in a spoon. I'm like, wait, that happened in Two Girls in the Cup. I'm wait, like, what is Two Girls in a Cup? No, oh, we're not, we're not discussing you can, that. You can look that up. We'll talk about that. That, by yourself on that, <laughs> that is like in middle school when they had us look up blue waffles. I honestly, uh, it's, what? it's worse than that. What? But, um, a blue waffle. No, we're not, we're not talking about that either. Uh, okay. No, it's not blue waffle. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> worse anyway i mean i'll tell you you'll never yeah. eat chocolate ice cream again <laughs> okay so you're gonna you're gonna, gonna go to jail if you harass myself. people that's the bottom mm -hmm. line he trust me have, they're not gonna give up people are not gonna give up until he does it he's not gonna eat it oh so we will see how it goes it. we got two votes you know what he should no you know what he should do actually not eat it sorry you know what he should do <laughs> Sue? he should be like no no not so. go to if bar, i would say Barstool gives me 10k. I'll eat it. I'll eat oh, it on their channel. I'll eat it on the live stream. No. 10k is not enough to eat some dog shit. No, they're not gonna <laughs> yeah, it really I mean, maybe you can get 25 million, but I'm good with shit. He, what the fuck? You're not getting a million dollars to eat dog poop. So well, he's not. I wouldn't even come on. No one is I, not a, there's no one alive who's gonna pay you a million dollars to eat dog poop. I'm saying you can make a little money off of it if you really feel like it's the only way to get the harassment to stop. But I don't think I think that honestly, the first person who goes too far is going to end up you, in a you want to know Howard how you make County harassment prison, and thing. that'll be that. Huh? She looked up the cup. You got to watch the trailer. You can't just look at. You got to look up reaction. You got to watch it. And if you if you if you can make it past the whole, if you can make the whole trailer. I'll give you a sticker for that. I don't think knowing you sticker. probably not. Knowing me, it's crazy stuff. Guys. You're not making right. it. You're not making right. trip. Before this devolves any further, no harassment. I do have no to cups. Continue on. But, I'm going. With... <laughs> I want to continue Listen, this conversation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have one thing. You want to know how you shut it down real quick by yeah. telling, getting on back on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the homeboys listening. You get on Twitter, right? And you're gonna tell everybody on Twitter, "Fuck you." Yes, I'm not doing shit. And, and <laughs> ignore, not even or ignore everybody. Just tell everybody to go fuck off every time. Yeah, literally, just be like, "I'm obviously not doing it. It was a joke." Cry and about it. I wouldn't it. even do that. I wouldn't even do that. I'd just tell them to go fuck off and call it. You could day. do that too, but it, you'll get. It'll be bad for like a day, two days, and then it'll go away. I promise you, it will. Promise you. Yeah, running away just make him look like a little bitch. That's, that's yeah. Running away made bitch. him a target, and this yeah. that particular group of people they love that. They're you know they get the pounce. That that's their favorite thing. They mm -hmm. don't want to beat up on somebody. You know, it's not you know it's no fun to bully someone who's not fighting back. You know what I mean? I agree. With so you, you got to just be like, I'm not playing your stupid game, and then the bullies would go away. Mm. Yo, I want to play some this clip. This clip had me dying. <laughs> for so many reasons and i'm gonna play it again okay look at this this is a 60 million view a 60 million viewed clip of this couple at the beach uh, and they were not having it not having it the people at the beach so let me was play it the couple the clip. having sex watch this I mean, you 
shouldn't beat the shit out of him. You are in the public beat, but there's a bunch of kids around. Oh, oh. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're in a public beach. You do know there's a bunch of kids around, right? Hey, yo. Go to the bathroom, my nigga. What are you doing? There's kids over here, bro. What the fuck are you doing, stupid? Go to the bathroom, my nigga. You can fuck. Bend over in the bathroom. Do something. <laughs> weird ass nigga. You weird as hell, bro. You're cheating on your wife right now. That's all you care about. No one's cheating on his wife. <laughs> Fuck the kids. Fuck everything else. Fuck everybody in here. <laughs> Never been more proud of people at the beach. Good job. Public embarrassment. Good job on those people. They were just making out. Too bad. Go to the bathroom, no, like you said. They That's were not just. Swell. They were not just making out. So gross. They were, they were they, they're doing gross stuff out. in there. They're, yeah, they're just. Yeah, they were not just making out. Allison, I'm sorry, you're not right on this one. They were not just making out. That was that's how it starts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the beginning. That was not. How uh, could that guy not expect to get ridiculed like that and making threats? I hope his job embarrasses him too. Good stuff. I, mean, I don't people. know that his job. Good Bro, stuff. Would you but... not? Yeah, yeah, Matt. Matt's, you're, Matt's you're blood awesome pressure. Is so yeah, I'm Matt's happy awesome. about this. They are right. The they can do it in the bathroom. They can do it in the bathroom. Yeah, in the public bathroom where the kids are taking a piss in the next stall. Let whoa, me whoa, still whoa. bang them out. How is it Jeez. possible it, that you, everyone yes, the, on this the, chat is simultaneously <laughs> wrong? <laughs> what is going on? Hold on. Yes, Matt. You're on one tonight. You're out for blood, and I don't know why, oh, but you man. are. What? That's number one. Know, you want fine. everyone to be miserable. It's that's Thursday. where Matt's at today. And what that's what do? happens. You know what? It's what a long week. It's been a long week. That's number one. Number two, <laughs> Jose and Allison. No, you cannot <laughs> hook up on the beach with all those people around. You <laughs> can't do that. Up. That's not allowed. You, what oh, do you call what that? Are they oh, Tommy <laughs> they were, that? In the pre, they were in the early stage they were making out they were that's hooking, up. They no, no, no. that's hooking up i didn't say penetrative i didn't say anything i didn't talk about which body parts Listen, were going where i'll tell you this hooking up. Hooking up. That's that's hooking hooking up. Up. they need to go no. to their room and have sex there Listen, I've done worse watching Despicable Me with a girl at the movie theaters or her kids around. So and that's, that's bad. not, that's not okay either, either Jose. It, that's you got to get a room too. Like, good. That makes it worse. Movie. That means you <laughs> did it too. Listen, I you didn't make no sense. Bad. I've done public stuff like in a fitting room or something, but like, what? well, there's a door. There's a door. Yeah, Dude, right. Why can't door. you people get? Is Where it is that hard? Is it that hard to go in the car and leave? out? But like, no one saw anything. Oh, Somebody geez. tell me if one of you could show I'm me confused. where the door was on that beach. I'll stop. <laughs> Just oh, maybe man. your kids should have been. So can, you know, you re you realize that that the that public beach for families. <laughs> that that you know walk. what? If they were such good parents, they would have had their kids walk the other direction. I said they did. There were no kids on camera. Okay, well, so by the water. Upset? Yes. Because it was happening behind the children who were in the water. This is I insane. am on that. I feel those like guys I'm on crazy side. pills. Yeah, I'm surprised. I am baffled want. how this is. How is there divisive. anyone supporting this? There were couple? no teams. Yeah, come out. on. Are you there kidding no me? Oh no my mall. god. Man, there's. This was not there's a tech dry on the chair. What is this? Go to the naked beaches. Where, is, what's that the, naked I mean, beach? They don't have to be naked, Matt. They yeah, weren't naked. Sex beach. You see, see, you were wrong again. I think there, there wrong. Was no nudity, if it was a nude beach, it would be better. But they were getting ready for that. No, oh my goodness. No, my honestly, a nude that. beach. A nude beach is just as bad. You're still not supposed yeah, to bang yeah, someone in front of everybody. Exactly, you, Ryan. Not everybody Ryan wants to right. see that. Alice and Jose wrong. I can't this believe this is insanity. This couple. You I can't this. believe that this is happening. Yeah, I can't believe y'all. I can't. What I'm in a public beach. No, in public not in front beach. of other people. What yeah, are you no, no, go, go away. Go away. Like two minutes ago, Matt, you were all about having a guy eat shit because the internet told him to. That's and now right. you're trying to go against people who are just making out and dry humping on a no, public beach. You can't dry hump on the beach, is the point. Why? You can't it do doesn't that. Have a sign. No. What do you mean why? You need because a sign. Some decency. Some sign that says you can't what are you dry talking hump about? on the beach? It's a decency. It's a common it's, it's a called common courtesy. adult Everybody entertainment. Knows. You can go in your room, I'm do whatever the hell you want with consenting adults, but not in public like that. 
Yeah. The, also, by the way, I know we like this is way off base because I somehow we've had to defend <laughs> common decency on this podcast. But yeah. The the woman was like, he's not cheating on his wife. That's like the thing you say if yeah. someone is absolutely cheating on their wife. And that's not the problem. To be clear, if if they were both consenting and he wanted to cheat on his wife, fine. Don't but like, you know, fine. privately or or, you know. Not to that extent. I'm not saying you can't kiss a person on the beach. You can kiss a person on the beach. You can hug a person on the yeah, beach. Yeah, exactly. You can even take a little nap. hugging very like, vigorously. You oh can even God. take a little nap. You're laying next to each other, head on your... You could do all those things. The the kissing repeatedly okay. with the dry humping, that's a problem. And, and the if you tongue, don't see the it, I don't baiting. know how to help. You're right. You're right, I Ryan. just don't know how to say it. Else else I'll be damned if somebody is going to tell me who the hell I'm going to make out with or dry hump. Anywhere in a public place, you publicly so can you go. Keep, you keep talking yeah. about who. There is no problem with who. I, I want to make that clear to listeners. Mm-hmm. Me, nor me, nor Matt cares whom this guy was with. The only issue is the venue. That's it. Yeah. None of the participants are it's a problem. Public None of the activities beach. are a problem. Oh my own. god! Yes, meaning the whole public is there. Okay, yeah. So you have their assholes at a public beach, and y'all don't say anything. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this conversation. That's a bathing suit. Like no, it's not the same up. thing. They were dry humping. <laughs> That's and different they than bathing had suits. Clothes on. Listen, and oh, you can on. buy a Jose, private Jose, beach. Jose, Jose, and you can have on. all the sex. I'm sorry, you I have to. Be a and the guy can be the best. Jose, can you just titties out, and a girl can have her butthole showing? I'm so confused. Jose, mind a girl butthole. Jose, Jose, can you at least? Uh, yeah, I know you disagree. You think you should be allowed to bang no. in public if you want. Can you at least <laughs> agree with me and Matt now that there is absolutely nothing similar between dry humping and wearing a bikini? Can you please? I didn't say wearing a bikini. You said wearing a bikini up their butt. Yes, you did. That uh, shows literally your asshole. That's what I'm saying. So, can Jose, can you agree with us three to one that those what? are obviously very clearly different things? <laughs> at least. Uh, I guess I okay, gotta go. That's all I need. Passes only because you're like pressuring him into it. Listen, I, 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 him think, I fingered girls in public beaches with kids around. So that's not okay, just, bro. But bro, you keep I'm saying not, it. That's like, not okay. Not, I mean, that's bad. You nobody, keep saying it. Nobody's but, looks, well, why nobody's is that bad? <laughs> Because no one notices it. It's not bad. Kids, but that's people are literally the same as we just saw. It's just yeah. repetitive. There was all this heavy petting. Who gives a crap? Under a beach towel, ain't nobody seen that. It's all heavy hell? petting. Literally, all Jose is doing is describing what we just watched. The difference is you don't like it when Jose did it, and you're totally fine when the strangers See, on the beach did it. This is exactly why I'm a monogamous <laughs> person. Because that's because I don't need to have this. I don't either. But privately. Privately, well, bring the sand in. There's a couple. Well, least... I thought the video you were gonna show. There was a couple that was seen having sex on the beach under like a towel. I don't know if you can find that, Matt, but it's like right, someone also recorded bad. me. Someone recorded yeah, that's them, also and they bad. were like literally no clothes on, like rolling also around. In that's the this, that's, that's what, it is. No, that's they're it. both bad. That's not even. They're not even the same. But I didn't say they're the same. I said they're both bad. They're... Two things can be bad that are different. Well, poverty exactly. and famine. Those are both bad, and they're you both. Say congrats different. on the sex to those people. Then get in your room. That's what I would get say. Get in your room. Go to the porta potty in the back. Exactly, I mean, like listen, that guy said. That was way, hilarious. Don't do the porta potty because that's just gross. But at least there's a door. <laughs> I know so people if, that did that. I know, I, I know people did that too. And again, at least there's a door. Yeah, <laughs> there's a door. There's some and privacy. Free shit. Yeah, no wonder why. <laughs> Jesus. I ne- I never say this, but I think there's apparently a large contingent of people who need some like I don't know, whatever God you pray to, just do it again. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. I need Jesus. It's okay. Someone needs Jesus. No fun at the beach. I'm trying to realize. Yeah, Jesus y'all Christ. are boring. Oh yeah. I, no, you know, I like I, to have if, my intimate moments in intimate settings. If you, this is for you know, me, and nobody else, nobody else has to see it. No OnlyFans, no Pornhub, no beach, no baseball game, no nothing. And also, like, not for nothing though. Like, honestly, not for nothing. But like, I've never been into the have weird, so sex like, weird. Places. It's one thing if you're in the middle of nowhere, oh, right? Yeah, exactly. If, right? No, seriously, I, 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 I'm just gonna be honest. 
like obviously if you're in a public place you run the risk of getting caught and if you get caught that's no good but if you walk around if you're on the dunes or whatever and there is no one around and you're with your partner and you're like you know it would be fun and you you know you get started and then someone rolls up on you and be like oh sorry and then you go away right like I won't say no harm, no foul, but I can see how that happened. If I roll up on someone in the middle of nowhere doing that, I'd be like, all right, there was clearly no one around when they started. Yeah. I kind of walked into this. I We can see from that video very clearly there are chairs and umbrellas all set up along the beach. There are people playing directly behind them in the water. This was the most public of a public beach you could possibly be on. <laughs> I just don't understand how that's a hard concept. The beach itself isn't even the main problem. It's sharing space. You can't do things that are gross for other people when you're sharing space. Thank you. You exactly. cannot share space with people that way. That is exactly why rated R movies are rated R. Bathroom. It's a beach. Just go yes. to the damn room. Okay, Jose, Jose and go, Allison. Go, go, go to the room. Go to the no. four Jose, Jose and Allison. Jose and Allison. Okay. What if that dude, same dude, red shorts, we saw him, big guy. He was going to fight until there was like six people, half his size are showed up. Yeah, apparently. right. So what if, he dropped his, what if he dropped his pants right where that was? So imagine where he was in the video and just took a mean shit. And you didn't even see any, you know, you didn't even see anything inappropriate. You know, you just pulled the back down and took a mean shit everywhere. That's totally fine. It's a public beach. You can do what he wants. <laughs> people do it in the public Most people do it in pool. the subway station. I didn't ask you if other people did it. You guys keep saying a bunch of people who also did something wrong as evidence that this is okay. I said, is that okay? You're at the beach. You see this guy take a, take a, take a poo right in front of you. I would be like, that's not normal. You'd be yeah. fine with it, though. You'd be like, all right, this is a fine like, thing. Do what you want. Stay away from me. No, no. Go away. Go away. I'd probably, no. probably just move to the next thing. What do you want me yeah. to do? Like, I don't know. Stop. Tell him, hey, don't poop there. Well, uh, give two not shits. I'm not sitting there. there. You know what? At least you're consistent. But I want everyone who's thinking about agreeing with the two of you to think about my version. Because I think most people, and you replace what you saw with taking a mean deuce in front of children at a beach, a public Listen, beach. Two wrongs don't make a right. In that video, two, two, two wrongs don't make a right. Sure. Where's the, the second day? wrong? The second wrong was when you're getting the fat kid and his fucking Ninja Turtle family about to jump a, a white guy. About the, they were not about white. to jump him. They Look at the video. Three dudes. Go all about to fuck him up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, play it again. Play it. Go We're not moving on. Play it again. Where's the three three guys going to beat the shit out of They were again. going at him, I thought. Play it again. But... Go ahead, right, hold look up, at hold it. Hold up, hold up. One second. Poor guy was just getting, getting a little dick wet. <laughs> Damn. Oh, there's a bunch of kids around. Exactly, right. and he's still going. Here we are. So no, there's the oh, no. no, no, no. He stands up. Oh, my God. Then the other people started. He started to. One hundred. There are the kids. There are kids over here. Oh, you can see. Oh, my God. They did not go to jump him, Jose. You're wrong. You're you said that they tried already. to jump him. They did not. Matt, he stood up Matt. to beat up the kid, what, and then he... the other guy showed up. No, no, okay, no. Do what? People happened. were ready to scrap. Do what? They were going to scrap. Your attention was to yes, scrap. Because the dude stood up to My beat up the other guy. He was already standing up. Red shorts went to beat up the to big scrap. kid, Listen, and then his family scrapped. showed up and said, "No, Red my ass was stood already. Up the water my got ass was out. already. Yes, he, my Red ass shorts stood up, up to beat up the big kid who threw the water. One hundred percent. Oh, there you go. So the other two was already there to scrap. No, they we we watched them run oh, over there to defend the large kid. We watched oh, it happen. Oh, we just oh, saw. Oh, it. I don't have to play it again. We they're just ready to scrap. They were ready to ready to scrap. Does not mean they're going to jump him. If he would have took two steps, they were going to jump on three guys against no, one. If, they, if he had taken two steps, they would have defended their family. Oh, yeah. The two other, one other, one dude is going to come and defend them. And the other two are just going to say, hey, guys, we'll just stay and watch them do it. No, no they're all three were going to get in. One on one, Jose. Who told you self defense is one on one? If someone's attacking your family, you they're all to jump to them. on them. You went to jump. That's it. Yes, you to defend it. the kid. That's what I said. They went to jump. Period. They no, were prepared you, for you, it. The way this you said it made it sound like they were the aggressors and they were not. Two wrongs don't make a right. They were ready to do it. 
Period. Jose. They knew what the hell they were doing. The whole that's why homeboy threw the shit at him. You think that fat kid was gonna just do it and be like, he ain't gonna touch me? No. That bitch turned around like a little dick because he had knew he had two other motherfuckers with them. Of course they were ready to scrap. You don't think they already talked about it? Do something. Of course something. they were ready to scrap. That's why the Homie. guy guy stood up, and that's why they did it. Homeboy, you don't stand up if you're not ready to scrap. Knew the other he had nothing to worry about because he had two other motherfuckers ready to okay, scrap. Okay, but that's but that's irrelevant. That's not so a you are ready to I, jump. I will home. say one thing though: this all could have been avoided if they just went to their room. That's right. Listen, who I fuck with is who I fuck with. Where I want to fuck, how I want to fuck. That's Period. not how the world works. Y'all, this beach is big as fuck. And I'm doing, let's use cat pass You want to do it in the beach, that can beach you just go big. all the way to the end that of the beach? That beach is big enough. Or I could, or you could go all the way at the oh end, end, end too. Then that no. mean just me. Nobody had to you see, see. You have to see me watch me grind up, dry humping my wife, or whatever the hell she is. You you can sit there and watch, or you can take 50 steps left. To the left, to no. the left, to the left. You shouldn't have to move. To. Can I say one thing that is funny? Because then we do have we do have to move after this, for time's sake. But I can't it was believe funny. this is happening. It <laughs> was funny how um they assume oh you must be cheating on your wife if you're <laughs> probably was. you know they just see that because he they probably assume, was you know old people you know getting your chance this is your chance to cheat. Yeah, I get it. I mean, again, well, I guess that's why they couldn't. I don't care room. if they were cheating. That's fine. I mean, it's not no, fine. I know either, but it's just funny. Oh, but you know. say, what? <laughs> no, but realistically, that part is not my problem. People <laughs> cheat, and it's wrong, but it's not. You know what I mean? But I have sex on the beach, and it's wrong. Yeah, except for apparently not, since yeah, everybody's okay with it. Public beach. Listen, okay. I'm okay with it, watching it, and I'm okay doing it. Either or it works for me. All right, Moving the next on. clip I have is from Stavros. You guys know the comedian Stavros? Yeah. This is the podcast Stavi's World. I only really have enough time to show the clip, but look at this stuff, right? From Stavi's World, the great Stavros, Stavi's World. Hilarious. I had a girlfriend for a little over two years, and her and my best friend of 10 years started hooking up behind my back oh. at the end of our relationship. Oh. So here's the kicker. Towards the end. Uh, <laughs> I was cheating on her the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. Oh, that was awesome. That's this guy so rules. <laughs> here's the here's kicker. The thing, though. Here's that f***ing whore thought she had me. <laughs> I didn't even like that guy. And I f***ed a bunch of girls. That's, That's awesome. So here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, though. That's the kicker. Come back. Here's honey. what's really f***ing. That's the quickest like Shyamalan movie of all time. He, he hit us with a twist within the same sentence. <laughs> yep. The end of the movie just cuts to flashbacks. Of Dude, <laughs> as we just talked about cheating, this very moment. Yeah, that worked out. That was a good segue. <laughs> Dude, so I much what cheated. Alex and Jose think. God. <laughs> about that clip it was probably the person oh. from that clip from the clip before <laughs> can't you imagine that was the, here's the kicker. <laughs> cheating is wrong we heard guys saw allison very brave allison not not as brave as your last take i won't lie to you but very brave cheating is wrong. i've been on i don't i don't even know i i my last situation was a married man and that was not fun. Have you ever been the uh, the person who was cheated on as well? Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about you, Jose? Have you been on both sides of the equation? Yeah. Yeah. Matt? I mean, if I did, not that I know of. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was just curious. There's no. There was no right or wrong answer. I was just curious. Mm -hmm. I've also never cheated or been the. You know, been cheated on that I know. Exactly. Of. God bless you. I'm sorry. Does that make me a cheater if I knew? And I did it once. I yeah. Mean, it doesn't make no, you not no, a cheater. It wasn't my no, no, no. It wasn't were my you relationship. Wait, I wasn't it wasn't. No, no, no. Yeah. Not, if you're, not, wait, if wait, you're wait, not in a relationship, oh, you're no, not cheating. No, no, no. I thought you said yeah. if you cheated, right if you. Yeah, that's different. I thought you said if you no, cheated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you did it once. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I misunderstood. No, no, that, yeah. no. no, no. If you're not in a relationship, you're not beholden to a different person. That The guy that you were with. Their he job, did. yes, their job is to be faithful to their partner. Yeah. If they choose if, if, not to do that, 
then that's on them. That's not a yeah. it's the home wrecker in the situation. Oh, right, but that I don't home wrecker home same thing. Home, yeah, home. The home just was already broke. Misses so it's it. just call me a wrecker. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't. I actually don't like. So I don't actually. I mean, obviously, don't like the term "ho" either. But the term "home wrecker" to me, what that does is that shifts the blame. And I mean, let's be honest; it pretty much almost always applies to a woman, right? It's a woman to another woman, and so the home wrecker shifts the blame away from the actual cheater and onto a different person. So I actually don't like the phrase "home wrecker" because, guys, if you're the guy and you cheat, then that's a you thing. You did it. If the relationship ends, it's you who ended it. If you get chewed out, it is your fault. If they don't trust you anymore, that's because of you. It's not because of the other person. The the home is not wrecked because of this other person. This other person didn't have to be in the equation. You put them there. You're the person who's at fault. You're the home wrecker. If you're the cheater, you're the one who wrecked the home. Uh, You're right. you're right and you're wrong. It I'm right it's the whole time, but well, how am home, I wrong? It's home, okay, home wrecker. If I was married mm-hmm. and I'm cheating on my wife with Allison, right? And Allison knew before we got into it, this makes makes her a home wrecker. No, it doesn't. Because here's the thing, and this is important for guys who are listening to hear. Just don't cheat. There's Just don't do that. This dude, Pope because John I Paul. You need to stop. I think what Ryan is trying to say is, I didn't technically I know, wreck the home. The I know what you're saying by making the decision I, to do that. I know what you're saying. He knows what I'm saying, but He's you're not. Serious. But you, you guys are not getting it. I get it. If me and I, Allison, if I was with you, if I was trying to get with you, and you knew I was in a marriage, mm-hmm. and you still agree to still it sleep is with not, me, no, no, no. It You're is adding not. and betting me to do it. Period. Jose, have you ever you been don't married? don't care. No, but I All tell right, you this right finish. now. No, let me finish. Let me finish. This is important. I promise this is relevant. This is not me just trying to flex. I promise this is relevant. Uh, to, I'm waiting for Jose to come back. Go ahead. I'm listening. I got to okay. right. go That's fine. So when you get married, Matt saw, he was at my wedding, and obviously I was there too, and we've all seen a wedding. <laughs> Two people stand up, especially in a church, but not have to be in church, with an officiant, and they make a promise to one another. They're the only ones in that room that make that promise. Everyone else is an observer. They see it. They are not there to make the promise. The promise is not the community's responsibility. It belongs to two people, the husband and the wife, or the husband and the husband, the wife and the wife. Two partners make that make that decision with one another. That's their responsibility. So if you approach someone and you are in a relationship, you are married, you are the person who is responsible for what happens next. It doesn't matter if you tell the other person. You tell the other person, I'm married. Is that going to be a problem? That is not their job then to say, oh, yeah, that's going to be a huge problem. I'm out. They didn't make a promise to your wife or your husband. You did. They didn't make a promise to your partner. You did. So them saying, no, I'm not going to do that because you're in a relationship. I mean, listen. Is this a religious thing? No. This is where you're getting that religious. It's not religion. It's just... no, it is a religious thing. No, it's not two people religion. in the middle of listen, I can go to City Hall, I sign a paper, I don't make no oath. You I'm sign a contract, a, actually, is what you do. Contract correct. That state so, that's mine, but there's no oath in me. I give you my life and my all, and I'm gonna stay faithful. Well, anyone to you who at has all. an actual ceremony does do that, by the way. But if it's you religious, sign, if you sign, it. but if you signed that document, the contract that you have to sign, and by the way, you have to sign it even if you do the religious thing. There has to be a witness, and part of that contract. Oh, I love you. Is no, don't don't say I love you. I actually, if you want me to, I can go get a copy from the Canandaigua courthouse of my it, marriage certificate. You we, don't. I no, get, with all due respect, you do a lot on Tinder. You do listen, a lot on Hinge. You do a lot that. on Bumble, and I respect your knowledge. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, and I mean about, that with. Whatever I'll amount of respect res- okay, you want to add to respect. it, you have I'll absolutely no idea what you're talking about. about. Marriage, no I matter how cool. you get married, cool. no matter cool, how bro. you bro. no matter how you sign off on your partnership, no matter how you sign off on your partnership, at city hall, at a church hall, does not matter. 
You and one other person have made a commitment. You two are the only ones responsible for upholding that commitment. No okay, one so else it's a moral is responsible. Thing. Yes, morals. Okay, God so forbid not, we talk not, about not, morals not, on not, our not, show not, every once in a while. Now, 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 stay with that. Stay with that there. Moral. We're going to keep with that. Stay with that. It's a moral thing. So if homegirl knew and still decided to fuck you, it's all against her morals, yes or no? Sure, yeah. Okay, so that makes her what? End of the Amoral. game. Thank you. Done. It's a home wrecker. No, you're more because than you're still no, blaming her for wrecking the home. The, it, it, because homeboy She's not responsible. Home, homeboy, both of them are. But it doesn't no, take away what you the want. The only one of them said they weren't going to do it. Jose. Two people rob a bank. One shit makes as a gun. You're still accomplice. She is still accomplice. She knew what what she did. She knew what she did was no. wrong. She still did it with That's you. That's a ridiculous comparison. She Robbing a bank is illegal. Con- <laughs> a moral contract with you as well. When no. she agreed to you are not. You she's not in a moral she, contract with someone. She just said, she I don't met give you. a fuck. I just gave up my morals to fuck you. Yes, yes that she makes is. her. That would make you. No, man, that is. That I gave up my morals to fuck you. I gave up my morals to fuck you. Which is something that I would, in shit. my opinion. Everybody's going to call me a hoe. In, in, in my opinion. They give two fucks. Of course, in my opinion. That should bring great shame to that person. But the only person who ruined the relationship is the people who are in the relationship. You cannot ruin a relationship that you're not in. totally agree with you. But at the end of the day, she's still part of it. At the end of the day, she's still still part of it. Obviously, it takes two people to have sex. She wrecks the home. She's part of it. She's in the one person can wreck it. Only the people in the home can wreck it. You can't wreck it from outside. Actually, you can wreck a house. I'm from the outside. You can't even (laughs) <laughs> you can't wreck a house from uh you can't wreck a relationship from the outside. Listen, the house can rot from the in- inside, you're right. You're totally Has right. To. You at can't break a relationship day, from the outside. But at the end of the day, homegirl is the last deciding part hit to that house breaking down no. completely. If you're a man, so at the end of the day, you own she's up the to what you did. Of course, but that doesn't. She, if she's a woman, she owned up that she was wrong. That's separate, but that's a separate thing. They should be greatly ashamed for doing that's it, but that's not the point. Is. Still, what she is doesn't matter. I, at the end of the day, as a man, I take responsibility. I fucked up this relationship, and how I handled it was wrong. You're right. You wrecked so, the home. Right. The man wrecked the home. Yeah, but that still makes you my compass sitting next to me because I could have ended it with my wife, but I chose not to. I went to you, still did my thing, even though you knew you were with no. me, knew where I was at. We're never so going to join this, but at the end of the day, you have to own for your actions. That's the theme of this episode. Own your actions. <laughs> you say you're going to eat the dog shit, eat the dog shit. Except for that one. That's clearly <laughs> you say you're going to fuck on the beach... Fuck on the beach. <laughs> and if you're gonna fuck a married man, accept that you are a home wrecker as well. Part of it. Take accountability. Period. And this is what we're going Thank at. You. But, Thank you, yeah. Jose. I I'm not you. trying. I'm not saying, but you get my fucking. Thank point. you. <laughs> Lessons learned. I accept Last responsibility for, for my sins. <laughs> Last Thank segment you. for tonight. From my favorite, it's gonna be a new list. We haven't done one in a while. Um, world of statistics release. The best bands of all time. The sources oh, yeah. include Rolling Stone magazine, Billboard, New M- Musical Express, NME, Pitchfork, VH1, and MTV. They were able to condense this list. It's actually it's 50, but you have to guess the top 50. Sorry, the top 10. Right now, you guess the top 10 best music bands of all time. Let's go. Oh, okay. One quick question for clarity. Are they all bands? Like multiple people? These are bands. These are bands. Okay. These are not solo yes. artists. These okay. are bands. So here it is. The uh, big bands? list. So all right, ready? The Beatles. Your favorite. Beatles got B- Obviously, one, number one. Rolling Stone. Rolling Stones, Rolling number Stones. two. Mm-hmm. Um, top ten. Beatles and right, Stones. Got one, Metallica. Metallica. Got one and two. What about, Metallica's not uh, in the top ten. Metallica's not in the top 10. Sure. They're 16. Who is that? Sorry, I missed. Metallica. Metallica is 16. Oh, interesting. Um, Led Zeppelin, that's on there. Three. Oh, God, it is. Um, three. Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. 18, so no. 
Ooh, Damn. okay. Um, it's one of those other like classic rock bands that everybody. Essentially, this is a really easy list. Yeah, I know. I, but, I got um, more. I got more. Don't we don't need to clue the yet. BGs are not on here. Okay, the who? BGs. The who? Yep. Are eleven. Ah, we just missed Damn. it. Okay. Um. What about? Now, who are those guys? The Kinks. Kinks <laughs> did not make the list. <laughs> mm, they're pretty good. You should listen to them. Well, not top uh, fifty. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Twenty five. All right. Um. Nirvana. Nirvana. That's no, no, that's number nine. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and nine. Nine. Um, Foo Fighters, number ten. Forty four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. All right, I'm gonna go left field with this. See what happens. Abba. Ooh. Okay. No, <laughs> um, not even on the list. Well, I, I, I said I said left field. <laughs> I want to see what happens. We're just trying to get a feel. Um. Who is like a contemporary of the? Oh, who's that band that did a uh, 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 Highway to Hell? Oh, ACDC. Fifteen. Ah. Damn. All right, they're big right now. Right. Oasis. It's like 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 Where these. Well, you know what's funny? This, this list is easy and hard at the same time. Because there's Oasis, so many people. Yeah, exactly. So Oasis is twenty-seven. Okay. Um. I'm not going to give any hints on this because Wait, if so you can't name the bands, you stink. One, two, three. You got the Beatles, Rolling Beatles, Stones, Rolling Led Stones, Zeppelin, and Nirvana. Led Zeppelin. So you and guys, Nirvana is nine. Yep. No hints <laughs> at all. Just no Poison. Hints. Poison. Poison. <laughs> no, Poison is not on this list. <laughs> Brett Michaels didn't make the list? No, he That's didn't. A shame. That's a shame. I mean, let's be real. He only has like two songs. No He's got one. a... Oh, no. Poison's good. I like Poison. Player? Um, Did you say who? Flair? Flair? Who's Flair? Flair. Blair? Not Blair. Slayer. Slayer. Oh, Slayer. 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 No, Slayer's not on this list. I have Slipknot. a funny story about Layer. Slayer for later. No, not Slipknot. What was the band Ozzy Osbourne was in? Oh, sh Nikes. Uh, Black Sabbath. 21. Ah, God damn! I thought I had one. It's a fun um, list, right? Isn't it? Yeah, well, we got more. We got we're getting more of this. Hold on. Um, it's another band, a big, a good. Oh, the Doors. No, oh, the Doors. Good call. The Doors. Yeah, Jim Morrison or John Jim Morrison. Yeah, are twelve. Yeah. Just short. Twelve. Ah, oh. just short. Um, corn. Corn, no, yeah. corn didn't make this list. Recon <laughs> right. We tried. Um, oh, but cream though, they could be on there. Cream, um, cream, they did crossroads and stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, they didn't make the top 10. I can't, I don't think they're on this list. It doesn't look That's okay. Like as long as the, the top 10 is all I care about. Um, I'm surprised about cream. I think they'd be definitely some top 50, but no, nope. no cream. I don't know uh, like any of these people. Paul, there's no way that the the Paul McCartney solo band. There's no way that they're in wings. Right? No, no wings. Okay, I, I knew it was wings. I wasn't going to say wings unless everybody. What about else the agreed. band where uh, Paul Simon was in? I don't know. Simon and Garfunkel. Simon and Garfunkel. No. Yeah, there you go. yeah, not on this list. <laughs> <That's> um, <too laughs> oh, Genesis though. Right, Thirty-five. Genesis. Thirty-five. <sighs> um. Isn't there a band called Someone in the Blowfish? Who do you know? The There's no way they're top 10. No, they're not on this list. They're not in the top 50. <laughs> There's just simply no way that they're on That's this list. That's what I got, guys. <laughs> um, we'll make fun of your uncultured self later. Because these, because yeah. this, like I said, Steve Miller Band. Steve Miller Band. No, no Steve Miller Band. Like, if you really think hard, it's not that hard. But again, it's also, sorry, if you really think There's hard, so it's many, easy, but it's also, it's yeah. There's so many people. Because, like, definitely mm. all these bands are definitely top 10 where they, they have insanely iconic songs. Like, a good iconic five songs. iconic songs, at least, okay, okay. that everybody's heard. Not the you who. say a song? You already said the who, and they're 11. Yeah, the no, monkeys. I know, I know. 
Oh, the, mo- mm. the monkeys. No, the monkeys are not here. <laughs> the monkeys. <laughs> I mean, my brain wants to say cheap trick, but they're not on there. No, no. Um, five. Like, what's like a five song? Like Mega five, death. Four or five songs. <laughs> No, not Megadeth. <laughs> Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. That's what I was thinking. But Lincoln Park's not on this list. I just saw they announced a new lead singer who's a woman. Didn't put in the show, though. Yeah, I saw that. Is I don't know about how I feel band? about that. No. I yeah, I think uh, they should have just retired. Uh, but Lincoln Park's not are here. Are they all they... old? Is there any yeah, modern bands? They are those, the one. The one. These, you got these, are the all the, the, the oldest. You have one band from the two thousands. That's really it, and they are Paramore. not in the top ten. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but you do have a mixture of people from the sixties, seventies, eighties, and nineties, like a good amount from all yeah. those decades. But oh, yeah, Pearl only... Jam. Not Pearl Jam. They didn't make this. Even for... really? No. Did we get the one from the two thousands or no? I think that should be no. Easy. They're not in the top ten. He said. You didn't hit the. Sorry, there's two from the two thousands. In the top, in the top 10. ten. No, no, no. Sorry, none from the two thousands are in the top ten. I'm saying the yeah, top no, okay. fifty. Oh, all right. Let's think bands from the nineties, folks. We'll start there. We have the, Nirvana. Born in the 90s. Yes, you already did. So we need. You uh, have no in this list. They this they released what they have released only one artist has released. All right, I'll help a little bit. From the top 10, there's one art band you haven't mentioned yet who did make records in the 90s. They were very big in the 90s, in fact. Kiss. <laughs> they should be on here. Kiss is 46. What uh, the fuck? You said Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? I yes. did, but they weren't. They're on the list, but they're not. Uh, Weezer not a band? I don't know. Weezer R-E-M. is a band. Weezer's not on this list, though. I don't think they're top R-E-M. 50, but I like their music. REM's 26. REM's 26. Sing of things I've listened to. I don't know. Um. Um. Who's the band oh, that uh, hold uh, on. Dave Navarro was a guitar? James guitarist. Addiction. James Addiction. There James Addiction is not on this list, but good guess. What about Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band? Do we count that? No, true. no they don't have them. They don't have okay. him on this list. I think they consider him more. It was solo. solo. I figured that was probably the case, but I want to. Well, oh, Bon Jovi. No Bon Jovi. Are you freaking they're, kidding they're me? They're 31. They're 31. Sorry, I found another band in the 2000s. You have three bands in the 2000s. Oh, Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter. Um, but they're not in the top 10. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this hard? Like, it shouldn't be yeah, hard. Right? No, these bands, you will kick yourself in the foot when you, you can't get you can't get any of these bands. I'm surprised. Nobody. You said a lot of bands and you haven't said any of the last or six. Like these are iconic, uh-huh. man. Really iconic. Like when you think of rock and roll, these these six bands that you haven't named are definitely on the list. And don't cheat, please don't cheat. I'm not cheating. I mean, you, you love not... their all these people's musics. I know for a fact you at least love one of their songs. Okay. Um. And just think about what everybody likes too. So I'm trying. To, that's that's the hard part. So I'm trying to get to. You, I mean, you said none from the 2000s. Aerosmith. Oh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Yeah. Guess what, guys? Aerosmith is number twenty. I'm Fuck you! No bullshit. Mm-hmm. Really? I'm gonna freaking scream. <laughs> Trust me. I these, these, I can't give Aerosmith you. I really 20. can't help you out here. These two bands. No, are I know, but this is insane. That right? that band. We well, said Kiss and Aerosmith and didn't make. You it. had. You got the top three in it's Nirvana. The number nine. What is one tier below Nirvana? Oh, Fleetwood Mac. There you go, number ten. Okay, I don't. I love so how you have I to go got there. number ten. <laughs> What's one step below Nirvana? Oh, Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> yeah, um, literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so you got um, you got four, five, six, seven, eight. These are insanely iconic in all of music, not just rock and roll. Hmm. 
Dave Fox. Matthews Band? No, not Dave Matthews Band. Um, I don't see him on this list. Crow? Not... Crow? I don't, I don't know who Crow is. I don't. Yeah, that, that you make that one up. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Nah, Limp Biscuit's this. not on this fucking list. They, they you think suck, those but... people like actually like Limp Biscuit? The, no, the they committee? suck. But I don't. Aerosmith no. is twenty. Can I say for shits and giggles, who we talked about? The Smiths were twenty four on the last oh, show. Give me twenty four. Okay. <laughs> so you don't have to guess them. The Cranberries are fifty. Are the cranberries? <sighs> Damn, a long talk die. after this. Yeah, she did. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, she did. Um, they've got a much more popular after she died, which is I think yeah, they're great. I like the crazy. Cranberries. Yeah. Um, Becky Lynch. She looks like because <laughs> Irish, because of the Irish, because <laughs> because they're Irish. Uh, <laughs> you too, <laughs> Irish. You too. There you go, uh, Ryan. You too, <laughs> number seven. You hit the band that was big in the nineties. <laughs> well, you still have a ways to go, but He's you did hit. Irish. Yes. That's Fun fact. Like we said, Queen. Oh, Queen! Hey, there you go. You hit number five. How did you? None of you say Queen. I thought that'd be that one of your it? first guess. Wait, when? But now. <laughs> well, no, I know now, but I thought that'd be like well, one of the very first guests. I. It should have been. Uh, wow. There you go. Um. So yes, we're missing. You are right, missing, missing four. Six and queen? eight, four, six, and eight. Yeah, yeah this band's definitely bigger than. Or they're definitely on the same level. Yeah. Okay. So someone as or bigger than Queen that we haven't. If you mentioned really yet. think hard. It's easy. That's what I'm saying. They, After you get the last that top one. three, especially that one. Like this band. Judas you know, Priest. No, do not nah, Judas, not Priest. Judas, Priest. Judas Priest. No. <laughs> I like Judas Priest, but it's just not him. Um, or them. This but, band um, is very big. Slipknot. Have we said Slipknot? Oh, dude. Slipknot. Yeah, we tried Slipknot already. <laughs> um, um, okay. Very, very big. The, no, people not... still obsess over this band to this day. No, it can't be. It'd be Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> no, it's not Taylor Swift. <laughs> I was going to say it as a joke, but you, you all beat me to it. It's fine. Um, I mean, this can't be right, but I'm, I almost like I have to say it because my brain won't let go of it now. Creed? No, Creed isn't on the okay. list, Ryan. Thank so, oh God. Go um, my, like, my brain wouldn't let me not say Creed. This band, uh, I, I, there was, their song was played during like fight songs. Um, like insanely iconic band. I think they, they if, I think they, I think one of their albums is technically still on the Billboard 200, technically. Oh, Jesus. Pink Floyd. There you go. Number four. <laughs> what right? Song was Pink right? Floyd? You know, like Money, <laughs> they do that. Or Another Brick in the Wall. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But yes, you I finally got the top five. The it world. took forever. Now, number eight. You have number six and number eight. Iconic bands. I'll give you one hint. Uh, mostly one six started in the 60s, one started in the 70s. 60s. And they are Bee iconic. Gees. Yeah, so an, uh, so a contemporary the of... Oh, the Beach Boys. There you go. Six. <laughs> you couldn't get that. And number eight. May, okay, I understand maybe this would be a little hard, but not really if you get the whole scope of music history. 70s. And yes, Top they are man. the 70s. Number eight. Rock band from the 70s. I believe technically they still tour. Maybe not. I don't know. Definitely one. Their, their lead singer is iconic. Were they 70s? Uh, you I might as well guess. No, not Journey. But iconic. I mean, she still sings with her husband, but I don't think she was in a band, so I don't think she counts. It's not a woman. Oh, okay. Uh, that takes two off, because my, my guesses were Pat Benatar or Hart. What's, it, uh, uh, what's that guitarist name? A guitarist? And if you were just wondering, the bands from the 2000s featured are yeah. Blur, Coldplay, and Muse. Oh. Oh, those are actually three good bands from the 2000s. So. Yeah. Um, 
Journey was 39, by the way. Oh, fun. Um, I do. I if, I feel good that most of mine were on the list somewhere. But uh, I do think when this is a fair list. Yeah, I mean, I've not disagreed with any of the list yet. Yeah, I mean, yes, in my mind. But then when we hear who's there, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe you can. Like, I think the top four are untouchable, but you can. Heck, the top five are untouchable. The top, the top five are untouchable. Even though it took you guys forever to get two of them, I would have put the Beach Boys higher. Actually, I would put. Okay, you can argue that, and you can argue that. Well, that's hard. Who do you replace? That's what I mean. Like it's 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 impossible. We Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Stones, and Beatles. That's what I mean. Like it's impossible, really, to change. But you know, Uh, um, seventies. They had. This is one of the one they have an album that's a top ten of all time, top ten selling album of all time. You can hear the iconic guitar riffs this band has done. I give up. It's okay. This is gonna bother me. Trust me, this is a big this. band. The segment was this. way longer than I thought, but it's okay. <laughs> it's it's worth to go through to finally get number eight. Seventies. Guy he had a his very distinct hairstyle, the lead singer. Actually, there's two I think there's no, that's too much of a giveaway. Two lead singers, though. From Not really 70s. two, but Mm, it can't be them. Who? You might as well guess. Hall notes for the seventies. No, no, not Hall and notes. And they're pretty. Let, good me, see, let me see specifically how many records this this band has sold. This band has sold. Their best selling album alone sold thirty eight million records. How am I not? Jesus. They have sold over 200 million records, bro. Including 100 million in the United States alone. Are they a U.S. band? They are an American band. Six Grammys, six number one albums. They were the best selling. No, they weren't. Just under the best selling band in the 70s. Their number two, number one was Led Zeppelin. Well, this band was number two. Um. Oh. Really? It can't be that. Who? The Eagles? It's the Eagles at number eight. Yes. Really? Yes, your top ten is Fleetwood Mac, Nirvana, the Eagles, U2, really? Beach Boys, Queen, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, Rolling Stones, and the Beatles. Those are your so, best bands of all time. Yeah, so you know how we said that Untouchable? Eagle's way too high on that list, my opinion. But I mean, I you mean, get over you, 200 listen, million records yeah, sold. You read, a, you read all their that, stats, so I can see how they did it. But in my mind, I'm like, that feels really high for the Eagles. That's why I said maybe their influence isn't as strong now. You can argue the nine before they play. They still play their music to this day. I don't see a lot of people play Hotel California. But regardless, right. yeah, exactly. we do have to wrap this up. But great job to Allison, Jose, and Ryan. We could talk more about this when we sign off. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Magic Mind for sponsoring us. We will see you again on Monday with NFL coverage, tweet cap on Tuesday, picks on Thursday, and then tweet cap on Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody.